God is the best explanation of the applicability of mathematics to the physical world. Philosophers and scientists have puzzled over what physicist Eugene Wigner called the uncanny effectiveness of mathematics. How is it that a mathematical theorist like Peter Higgs can sit down at his desk and by poring over mathematical equations predict the existence of a fundamental particle which experimentalists 30 years later after investing millions of dollars and thousands of man hours are finally able to detect. Mathematics is the language of nature. But how is this to be explained? If mathematical objects are abstract entities causally isolated from the universe, then the applicability of mathematics is, in the words of philosopher of mathematics Penelope Matty, a happy coincidence. On the other hand, if mathematical objects are just useful fictions, how is it that nature is written in the language of these fictions? In his book, Dr. Rosenberg emphasizes that naturalism doesn't tolerate cosmic coincidences. But the naturalist has no explanation of the uncanny applicability of mathematics to the physical world. By contrast, the theist has a ready explanation. When God created the physical universe, he designed it on the mathematical structure he had in mind. We can summarize this argument as follows. One, if God did not exist, the applicability of mathematics would be a happy coincidence. Two, the applicability of mathematics is not a happy coincidence. Three, therefore, God exists. Let's take the matter of numbers, okay? Uh, Dr. Craig says it's a miracle, it's a wild coincidence that mathematics is applicable to, uh, uh, to science on my view. Uh, uh, well, he hasn't reckoned with the remarkable number of alternative mathematical objects that mathematics have conjured up, have thought about, have theorized about, or about the remarkable range of possible mathematical functions relating these objects, okay? The fact is that we know that there are indefinitely many mathematical objects and indefinitely many functions relating these mathematical objects, and it's a sheer argument from ignorance to suggest that the number is so small, the number that apply to the world of this vast range is so small that it demands divine uh, authority to make it come out that way. Just the geometries alone, the non-Euclidean geometries alone, there are indefinitely many of them. And it happens that in the small, one of them appears to apply on, the, on this planet, and in larger spaces, another applies, but any one of an indefinitely large number could perfectly well apply in the universe. And the suggestion that it's some mystery that could only be explained by God's good graciousness to the physicists just seems to me bizarre, again. Just, you know, something that uh, beggars the imagination. The applicability of mathematics. All Dr. Rosenberg could say is there are various alternative mathematics like non-Euclidean geometries. That doesn't go one inch toward explaining why our physical universe is structured on this incredibly complex mathematical structure and foundation. Again, the theist has an easy explanation. God constructed the universe on this mathematical structure. The naturalist is at a loss to explain it. 